So I'm thinking about doing something crazy and I need your help to make this work. We haven't done a uh, channel update in a while. So we're going to talk a lot about the state of Twitch, live streaming, the schedule, and to update you guys on the state of Chris, if you haven't seen some of the other videos, uh, he's been incredibly sick, tested negative for COVID, but he pretty much had COVID and many people have had it. My brother, they're just recovering and hopefully we'll be seeing him back on the channel as soon as he is uh, got the energy to, to do so for a long period of time. But uh, essentially what this video is going to be about, it's me. <laughs> I've been toying around with the idea of pushing for partner on Twitch. I have an official Twitch schedule, uh, Monday through Thursday, 5.30 a.m. till pretty much 8, 8.30 uh, in the mornings where I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV on uh, Monday and Tuesday and then Destiny 2 on Wednesday and Thursday. The challenge is, is if we just kind of dive into the stats and the dashboard, uh, in order to really path to partner, uh, despite the fact the size that the channel is at the moment, uh, you know, people will say, oh, your size here on YouTube, that means like instant partner access. Every time we've applied, we've been denied and, and that's okay. Um, but you can see here right now, and this is up almost 10 points uh, to 18.96 for an average of 75 viewers per stream. Uh, it's almost 20. Obviously, they want me to have at least 75. And I think essentially the best shot at this would be to hit uh, those goals. And that's kind of where I need y'all's help if you choose to do this. Because uh, I play uh, Final Fantasy 14 a lot, especially now that I'm back. And I also play Destiny 2 a lot. But I do know that when we look at the numbers and one of the reasons why Ginger Prime came into being is that I play other games in Final Fantasy, but either the algorithm uh, doesn't recommend those videos or you're just not interested in those videos. And I have no, no issue with that. We've always said, just watch the stuff that you want to watch. But we can clearly see that by having Ginger Prime and by having worked a game that the algorithm works differently in those cases. So um, that's kind of where uh, the help comes in. And we'll talk about how, if you guys are interested in helping, whether you're tuning in for the live show or essentially if you can't or you're not really interested in watching Destiny or you're not perhaps interested in watching Final Fantasy XIV, that you jump in and hit the uh, uh, the auto host or the kind of add us to your hosting list uh, to kind of help uh, you know the channel itself. Again, uh, no pressure to do any of this. This is really more about pushing up those average viewers in order to apply and become a Twitch partner. Again, like I said, feels crazy. It's not anything like I consider myself going into that the full-time streaming but the path to partner would open up a lot of features within the twitch ecosystem and we've been doing some co-streams with like benny from comic Storian is i guess the best example and we just did a podcast with them thanks for everybody who tuned in for that it was incredible really great show um but on that note we're don't have access we have we have emotes they're actually here on this channel for those who've hit join they're on ginger prime for those who've hit that join button uh, we're still working our way through unlocking all of the emotes and I've got more emotes coming, which is really exciting. I can't wait to share those with you guys. Uh, but in order to have access to those emotes on Twitch, we have to be a partner. Like there's so many things that it's like, you got to be partner. And so that's kind of where the fact that like I have a schedule, uh, this comes into play and th that I have stats and the fact that like you guys, especially this week have shown up in droves. Uh, it's been so exciting and more than just the auto hosts. Like if you were able to hang out, we can talk. Uh, that would be ideal. That would be essentially the best situation. Uh, we've been coming up with our own internal memes for live streams. So subscribers are part of the uh, Texas Ninjas. Uh, I reckon that <laughs> if you're a Texas Ninja, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but then everybody else is uh, a little monster, which has been fantastic. I don't know how this comes up, but the, well, I, I kind of do. And let me go ahead and show you. Um, in, uh, in the system, they've added these channel points, which is actually really exciting. So I really like the fact that when people can engage with streams that don't have to spend money, that's really been my biggest frustration with YouTube gaming uh, to this whole point. It's like everything they're doing is like spend money and how you can monetize and make more money. And while if somebody was a full-time streamer, a full-time content creator, I can see how that could be a value. I can see how you're like, oh, you can make money here. Uh, and that's not what we do and that we're not full-time. And honestly, even if I could support myself full-time via this, I don't think I would because it's so ebbs and flows. It's I can't risk it with as, as having a family. If I was a single guy with like just a rent and maybe a roommate, like what? why the hell not? Like, okay, I, money's down this month. Not a big deal. I can't rely on that and that kind of revenue. Um, but I do enjoy producing content and I don't. And as you could probably tell, if you're following any of my content, 
I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. I really enjoy it. I enjoy interacting. More than anything else, I enjoy helping other uh, other gamers out uh, and just having this community that is just the best. But on, uh, on Twitch, they have... Uh, the free options, which are channel points. So by watching, uh, you get points, and you can use those points on various things. And they had these basic ones, highlight my message, unlock a random sub emote. All right. We don't have a lot of sub emotes, and there's not a lot of value in those. But we can create our own custom rewards. And so I've actually, and you guys, the, uh, you little monsters, and that's where it comes from, have been racking these up and have been making me do a lot of exercise. So I kind of made these fun. These are good for me. It's good for, to get me up out of the seat, get me working. But we have posture check, make a, my avatar random. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, just be sure to come in and tune in for a stream and you'll see what I'm talking about. So a little, uh, you know, our Texas ninjas, they have avatars that are actually appear on stream uh, on the stream. And that's fantastic. And thank you, me three. Uh, he was actually turned me on to that idea. I was like, oh, man, that's really great. Uh, and then you can also change my avatar to a selected one that's available. Uh, it's a little bit more. You can make my desk stand up for 10 minutes, which this desk scans up. It's a stand sit desk, highly recommended. Uh, you can also make me do either 10 sit ups or 10 push ups. Uh, you can make me do 10 cur uh, 20 curls or 20 shoulder presses. And man, they stack those up. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ripped. <laughs> uh, you can make me do 20 squats or 20 leg raises. Uh, you can change up the guy the, what I'm playing. So if you're like, hey Brian, I see you're leveling Gunbreaker. Uh, now you're leveling ninja, you know, you get that ability and you can make it you can completely uh, kind of change how and what I'm doing in game uh, And then finally you can also have me gift uh, a sub to you or uh, to another person and I kind of set these numbers Well, we can kind of play around with these numbers and see what they look like now at the end of the day If you guys are interested in helping me do this uh, This kind of comes down into the uh, the hosting aspect because the real numbers the real issue here is that I don't play just one game and despite numerous times like you can people will pull I see all these streamers that are like oh you said you watch me for anything it's like at the end of the day like perhaps you're either you either like my content for fantasy star you either like my content for final fantasy or you like my content for destiny that's probably how you were introduced and chances are how you were introduced to this face or the voice uh, tends to be what you might be more interested in watching and that's perfectly fine. In fact, I don't I'm not telling you to change. In fact, that I'm telling <laughs> I tell streamers Get over it. Like it's That's what they want to see like that's what your community's interested in You need to find a way to invite them into other things So if you're not interested in checking out destiny the, the challenge with destiny streams is that here from work to game Chances are you might not know that I play destiny and I've played destiny for seven years and I'm really loving destiny and I hope you enjoy it too and i think the streams are fun and engaging however uh i get it like I, I understand so you don't have to watch the destiny content i don't like go and support who you want but if you want to help me try and do something crazy like become a twitch partner well auto host and that comes down into kind of like your channel preferences from your dashboard if, if you've ever seen this if you know how to manage this if you could add me to your auto host lists that would end up pushing the numbers up in the rankings, which drives and helps the channel introduce itself in new ways. And that's all it is, you know? And uh, so I think uh, like you go in here, auto hosting, you have auto host channels, you can, there's team hosting. I don't understand all of this. I'm not a Twitch expert, but then you would have a host list and you can search channels and you can add, uh, and I've got a bunch of channels that I like to support. And in fact, if you're not on that list, I know I didn't really kind of go over it greatly if you're not on that list and you want to be let me know let me know how i can help you as well because it's not and i'm not talking and this isn't sub for sub this isn't qu quid pro pro you know if you're legitimately like working on your content if you're if you really want to kind of grow as a content creator yeah let me know that's one of the things i like to do and some of the stuff that i post over on ginger prime that's it guys i <laughs> i think this is crazy every time i talk about it people say do it and then I'm just looking at it from from a pure analytics perspective, and I, I get the I get the support and the excitement by those who are just so passionate and they love what I put out in the world, and I thank them for that. But I can't do this alone, and so I'm asking for your help if you decide to give it. And my voice is getting cracked up a little bit. Anyway, guys, keep Chris in your thoughts and your prayers. Uh, he's doing much better. My brother seems to be doing much better too, uh, and my uh, wife's sister just had her baby, so life is going really well. And yeah, if you want to join me bright and early in the morning, central time, here's the schedule. Mondays and Tuesdays, Final Fantasy, Wednesdays and Thursdays, Destiny 2. And that's going to be what I want to be streaming and that's going to be playing. And I invite you along. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the content. 
And uh, if you do and you're still here at this point, you are incredible. I love you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.